Salut survivors! Welcome back to Solid Podcast Channel in Medieval Dynasty Guide series. Hunting is a key aspect of Medieval Dynasty game. What better way to give it importance than making a short video guide? All about it. First on our list will be a map with numerous spawn locations of all animals in the game. I notice several players are encountering difficulties with finding some of the animals. Secondly, I did a comparison study on the various weapons currently available in the game, and I will share with you the outcome. Lastly, I will discuss some tips on how to safely boost your hunting efficiency. Please share, like, and subscribe for more Medieval Dynasty videos. To be noted is that this game is in early access, therefore we should expect balanced patches and additional content soon. Now, let's get straight to the video survivors. In the game, there are multiple spawn locations for the various animals. Some are very common, such as a doe, buck and rabbit. Others, like bears, wild boars, wizens and wolves are less common. The following animals map location is based on my encounters and does not contain all animal spawns of the game, but should be helpful to the players who are searching for some spawns. You can find bears in the central mountains between Gostovia and Honica, and another spawn location I encountered is in the southwest between Jezerica and Lesnica. For the bows, I found so far three main spawns, one very close to Denica, another one in the north in the lakes west of the hunting lodge of Sambo, and lastly at the southeast of Gostovia. There are multiple spawns of wolves in the map, but the biggest one in my experience is the one close to Sambo. Some others are southeast of Gostovia or north of Honica, and both north and south of Lesnica. In respect to the Wizens, there are multiple spawns, including southeast of Baranica, northeast of Honica, or east of Jezerica. Another one can be found in the southwest of Rolnica. For the deers, rabbits, and foxes, they are in numerous locations in the map, regularly in forest areas. There are several weapons in the game, which can be so far divided into two categories, the spears and the bows. There are three types of spears, wood, stone and iron ones, while there are four bows so far, simple bow, long bow, recurve bow and crossbow. To be noted is that when hunting, you should always try to prioritize to hit the head, as in this game, it has a much higher damage than body shots. In regards to the bows categories, what I find noticeable is the following. The crossbow has a very low drop of the bolts and a high damage. However, it is extremely slow to reload. Therefore, it is mostly useful when hunting bears that are far. It will likely become more useful when bandits will be added to the game. The simple bow is very basic and has a very bad drop on longer distances, and you should try to skip it as early as you can. The long bow and the recurve bow are the best bows in my opinion. Their drops are very similar, and after testing in my archery range, I could even surprisingly notice that at a range around 40 meters, the longbow drop is actually slightly lower than the recurve, recurve bow drop. However, the recurve bow damage is slightly higher than the longbow one, and one headshot is sometimes not enough for the longbow to kill a buck, while it is enough for a recurve bow. Therefore, the recurve bow is my preferred flexible hunting bow in terms of 
drop value, damage, reloading speed, as well as stamina consumption. In regards to the spears, their drops is relatively high compared to good bows. To be noted is that you approximately need 8 wooden spears to take down a bear, while you only need 2 iron spears to do the same, which makes the iron spear damage among the highest in the game. Also to be noted is that it seems that the iron spear does damage over time to the animals, which is useful to slow them down, for example against a wizened. Therefore, I recommend carrying with you at least two spears, preferably iron ones, when going on a hunting. There are numerous tips for hunting. I try to group them into sets. First set of tips is about vision seeing the animals better, as sometimes when hunting in the lush forest you can have a hard time seeing animals. One general way is to try to hunt more during winter time, as it is much easier to see animals thanks to the contrast with the snow. Another good tip is to try to unlock early on the tracker skill, a tier 2 skill in the hunting's skills tree which provides a very useful highlight of the animals when pressing the ALT key. But please note that it is using stamina. Try to hunt while being on higher ground. Not only does this provide an easier projectile trajectory on your target, but it also gives a better sight to spot targets. Then, second set of tips is about the act of hunting itself. Several points which should be helpful. When you have spotted a target, try to crouch and sneak towards a good shooting position. Also try to spot other animals nearby before shooting on your target, as it is likely there are others around. Most of the animals live in packs, so you better watch out. When you hunt, focus on the head of your target. In most cases, either you can hit the head, otherwise you risk on spending a long time running after your prey. When you have killed your prey, do not rush on skinning. Check your surroundings first, as wolves are known to attack while you are skinning. Lastly, third set of tips is miscellaneous tips. Generally speaking, try to bring with you some multigrain bread for healing purposes. Otherwise, a second sol solution can be to heal with some broadleaf plantain. Always keep one spear on you as backup, in case you would get cornered or if you would run out of stamina at a bad time. Last point, at the current stage of development of the game, you gain the same XP whether you hunt a bear, a deer, a rabbit, or any other animal. I hope these tips will be useful and happy hunting. If you have any comments, suggestions, additional tips, feel free to leave a message in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching and see you on my next Medieval Dynasty video. Until then, have a good day. Cheers.